Welcome to English 9 with Mrs. Baker. Today I'm going to tell you about the class expectations for English 9. Everyone should have a copy of the class expectations, which you can refer to and keep a copy at home or in your notebook. It, this includes my contact information and a link to my website where you can see a calendar of the events that we are doing in class. On the calendar, when you scroll down and take a look, you can see that there are events for every day. When you click on this, it will take you to the lesson plan for the day. It will also include any links that you may need that you can copy paste into a browser window to access the material. Also, this agenda is posted every day in our classroom group in Edmodo for students to access at any time. Materials that you'll need for class include the usual, the pens, the pencils, the highlighter. I'd also like you to bring a small pack of colored pencils so that we can use it for any active reading or diagramming or colorful note taking that we may do. The other thing that students should bring every single day to class is a composition book. It may be a marble or it could be a pretty color, uh, but students will be using this every single day for any sort of do nows or journaling or other class activity notes. This composition book is very, very important for our class procedures. In addition, to house any worksheets or anything of that sort, students may use a three ring binder or a Pendaflex folder. It's up to you. Do what works for you to keep things like papers organized. In addition to these items, I would like students to also bring with them headphones or earbuds. We will be using Chromebooks in class that may involve viewing individual viewing and listening activities. So students having earbuds will help out. Make sure that if you have Apple headphones that you bring in the dongle or just go get a cheap pair from Five Below to plug into the Chromebooks. Students are allowed to use their cell phones in class for academic purposes. If a student doesn't know something, they are more than welcome to ask Google and look up the definition of a word. I will never stop them from trying to seek out knowledge. But the key piece is to make sure that we're using these devices for academic learning purposes. Our daily routine in freshman English is comprised of the following activities. When students come in, we'll do a do now activity that it takes about five minutes. Again, all of those answers will be kept on file in their composition books. Then we'll do an overview of objectives and additional instructions. And then we'll have our learning activities that will take up the majority of the period with a wrap up or group recap for the last five minutes of class. Now, if you're absent and you can't come in, you are more than welcome to work from home. I will always post our daily agenda and resources in Edmoda, and you can check that website to review the class calendar. Students may also email me and I will send the work as an attachment and you can complete the work and send it right back to me or bring it in when you return. I'm after school most days, so students can stay after also to get any makeup work or any extra help as needed. And all I ask is that students please submit any makeup work as soon as possible. It is very important that students participate in class and are active in their learning. So participation isn't going to be a separate grade. It is part of the activities that we do. And in speaking of grades, while grades are important, my teaching philosophy focuses on cultivating curiosity and engaging in active student learning. If students do what I ask, if they stay organized and they focus on the learning, then the grades will reflect the efforts that they make. Now to check your students' progress, you will want to regularly check Edmodo and Genesis for student assignments and grades. I will put feedback in the comments for scores as well. I want you to think of Edmodo as our working gradebook portfolio. Some of these scores and assignments will get transferred into Genesis, but some may just be for formative learning purposes. 
All marking period grades, though, are calculated through the assignments that are listed in Genesis. And we use a point-based system where students get their grades by dividing the total number of points achieved by the total points possible. And I don't really do assignment weight, but the greater the point value of an assignment is the greater the weight of the grade for the marking period. So assignments can be as small as like a quick worksheet for 10 points on up to a bigger project. Uh, quizzes and tests are also part of the learning process and the grades. In terms of late work, if a student is absent, I am so nice. I do not take off points for late work. It is either in or it's not. Now, if a student hasn't completed an assignment, they have not turned it in and I've scored the class, I will note in Genesis as an incomplete. And that incomplete equates to 50% of the value of the assignment. I will also note in the comment section that the student has not turned in the work. Once the student has turned in the work and it has been scored, I will update Genesis accordingly. But I will keep a note in that comment section that states that the student turned in the work late. But again, I don't take off points for lateness. Various assignments, though, I do ask that will be turned in online through Edmodo or Google Classroom. And while I prefer that they're using class provided Chromebooks or the computers in the library, students may certainly work at home on their personal devices using their SRSD provided Google account. Now, in the event of a computer, printer, server malfunction, the internet stops working, students are always allowed to turn in digital assignments and have them be handwritten. The goal for me is that the student will do the work no matter what. No excuses. We get the work in and the work is completed. Our assignments this year, we're going to be doing some different projects. We will be doing some tests and quizzes. We're going to be reading various stories. In first marking period, it'll be Romeo and Juliet. In uh, second marking period, we'll be reading Of Mice and Men and some other Steinbeck stories. And third marking period will be the Odyssey and Greek mythology. Fourth marking period, we'll do a wrap up with some more creative writing and some short stories. And so for all of these texts, you can see for the assignments, uh, the various methods with which uh, the assignments will be scored or their point value. In terms of technology in the classroom, students are expected to adhere to that Southern Regional Acceptable Use Policy. I also hope and expect that students will take care of our devices and will treat them accordingly. And I will always give multiple days for students to complete computer assignments. I will never assign something today on the computer and make it be due tomorrow. So that if a student has to use a school space during study hall, going to the library after school, or going to the public library at home, they have options to schedule that and make it happen and get the work done. You can review the rest of the policies here and I'm really looking forward to a great school year with you all. And once again, welcome to Freshman English.